rooftop in a bad area of Baghdad on a sniper overwatch mission. It starts to feel like that kind of calm before the storm where you're just waiting for some stuff to go down. And then snap, snap, crack, rounds go snapping right by my head, hitting the wall behind me. It occurred to me, hey, you're the team leader here. It's your job to figure out what we're doing next because we're taking heavy fire and we cannot stay here. I distinctly remember thinking, when it's high stakes, in this case, life or death, there is no substitute for the right training, the right preparation. So I showed up at my first SEAL team in 1996, but it wasn't until my first Iraq deployment in 2004 that I got my first real taste of what actual combat was like. There's a term we use in the SEAL teams called being on the X. Think of it as X marks the spot. When we fast rope onto these rooftops at buildings, we refer to that as landing on the X. We also use it if we're patrolling down the street, the enemy shoots at us, the enemy ambushes us, has us in that kill zone, we call that the X. In that case, we gotta maneuver, we gotta get off that X. If we want our best chances for bringing everybody home alive, accomplishing the mission on that X, we have to show up. Well-trained, well-prepared, well-rehearsed, most importantly, we have to be able to perform those skills in the clutch when the pressure's on. Undoubtedly, there's probably some of you who are thinking right now, okay, we're not SEALs, nobody's shooting at us. What does this have to do with what we have going on? More specifically, how does it help me better lead my team, more effectively engage my clients, and more successfully overall run my business? How does it help with that? I know who's in front of me right now. The best at what you do, that's why you're here. But even still, with all of that experience, you get thrown curveballs. And most certainly, the people that work for you on your team get thrown curveballs. And so you feel that stress, that pressure, that anxiety, they can derail you from bringing your A game. Because in moments like that, your brain is not telling you the difference between actual danger and when it's your jobs, careers, reputations, relationships, livelihoods, not just your own, that are on the line. So here we are, we're ready to walk out onto that X. But there's one principle that is absolutely vital to our success, and that's the very simple concept of being brilliant on the basics. In special operations, we have a mission tasking, weapons, tactics, procedures. We drill these things over and over and over again. We do that so when a young SEAL like me is on a rooftop getting shot at for the first time, getting grenades thrown at him for the first time, even then, he doesn't have to think about what happens when his weapon malfunctions. Where's that spare ammunition on his gear? How do we change the frequency on the radio? How do we execute that tactic again? You can more effectively do that when you take care of all the little stuff that could sap your focus, whether it's tax law, whether it's something else that's complex, when you know that it's right at your fingertips, you feel confident. When you feel confident, you perform at a higher level, you're more focused, you're more engaged. When you find yourself, when your teams find themselves flustered, distracted, nerves, the heart's racing, the hands are sweating, and if you have too strong of a reaction, you get up into what psychologists call the red zone, fight, flight, or freeze. In the red zone, we lose our ability to think critically, to learn new information, we lose our fine motor skills. And then I remember three stupid, simple words that every Navy SEAL knows when it comes to being in a gunfight. Shoot, move, communicate. Shoot, move, communicate. When I'm saying those three words, what I'm not saying to myself is what happens if I get shot? What happens if I get killed? What happens if as a leader, I make a decision that gets somebody else shot or killed? Now the glue that keeps this all together is mindfulness. You need to notice the thoughts in your head that are not serving you. So you can put some distance from that and affect your emotions and your capability under stress. Everybody's got a plan or they get punched in the mouth, right? Mike Tyson famously said, no plan survives first contact with the enemy is the favorite uh, military expression. Does that mean we don't have a plan? No, we have a good plan. The better we know our plan, the easier it is for us to take the correct off-ramp when it comes time to pivot. Maybe today's the day I get thrown a curveball, and good. Why? Because it's my opportunity to demonstrate that poise, that flexibility, that adaptability, 
my opportunity to demonstrate leadership. Now, I got this, I own this, now I'm gonna go kick it in the ass. Back in Iraq, going on another sniper operation, stuffed in the back of this thing called a Bradley fighting vehicle. One young private stands out to me. This young private was terrified. But as I watched, I realized I was not the only one that was noticing this. Because just then I see an arm reach out and put a hand on his shoulder. And then I see another arm reach out and put another hand on his shoulder. And one of those soldiers spoke up and said, it's okay, brother. We're scared too. But we got you and it's gonna be all right. We all get scared sometimes. We face that doubt. We face that uncertainty. And I think for most of us, if we're being honest, sometimes we could use that hand on the shoulder. You're leaders. And as leaders, it's on you to be the one to pick their head up, to look around and see who within your sphere, teammates, clients, family, friends, who amongst you could use that hand on the shoulder that says, I got you, let's do this together, it's gonna be all right. Because when you can do those things, when you're committed to do those things, when you're committed to your values, your beliefs, and you live them through principles, when you pursue mastery of some of the most fundamental aspects of your craft, and you develop the mental skills to perform those in the clutch, you're gonna perform on the X every single time.